Okay, here we are in the boat finally. It's been a long time coming and I'm so glad to be here. I'm about to start fishing, actual fishing, yes. Can't believe it. Okay, first cast of the season, here we go. Who knows? You never know. You always got a chance when you've got a line in the water. Feisty, feisty smallmouth bass, but uh, not what I'm looking for today. They're out of season, so right back in the water it goes. Okay, game on. Got my drag now. Gotta get my drag set properly. Come on, I see you. You're coming. Here you go. Ah, it's a little pike. <laughs> yeah, it's a dart. Man, it's small. Little pike. Okay, I got a pike. I'm on the board. Oh. Well, let yourself off there, buddy. Let's bring him around here. Yeah, baby pike. Sure, sure. Show off. Okay, let's just get the pliers. We don't want to mess around with these guys. They got sharp teeth, so even the little ones. That took a little bit too long. There he is. Let's make sure he's gonna be all right here. Oh yeah, resilient. We have a beaver crossing in behind us. Look at him go. Okay, he has something here, I believe. I think it's a bass. Okay. Oh, no eyes on him yet. Oh, that's a pike. That's a small pike. Okay. Oops. And now he gets all. Any luck, he'll let himself off. Probably tucking pliers again. Oh, he's not as hooked as last time. That's good. Let's grab that. 
you. Why, thank you, Mr. Pike. First cast of the day. So today I'm going to start off using jerk baits. Go into a few spots that I think might work. Failing that, I might try a little trolling with spoons and spinners. It's supposed to get a little windy today, so we're going to see if uh, the trolling works if the jerk baits don't. But uh, definitely, I think jerk baits are the go to for this time of the year, at least to start with, and see where that goes from there. He's off. Yeah. Felt like a bass. Looked like a bass. First strike of the day. Okay, we got one. Yeah, finally. There's some good head shakes here. We got here. So that last pike I just caught, um, it was hooked, double hooked. One was on the eye socket, so it was rather gruesome. I just wanted to focus on, you know, getting the hooks out of him and making sure he was okay. So not pulling him in the boat or anything, keeping him in the water and just, uh, you know, got the hooks out and off he swam. So he seemed no worse for wear, but uh, that's why I didn't really want to show you, you know, landing it or bringing it in the boat just because... You know, I didn't want to put too much stress on the fish by uh, pulling him out with uh, hooks and, uh, you know, in a tough spot for him. Anyway, back to fishing. If you can see that turkey vulture up there on top of the cliff there. And there's the other one flying in here. It's going to go beside the other one. Crazy. I've never seen a turkey vulture that close before. It's swooping down over there. Hope they're not for me. My time's not up yet. <laughs> it's crazy. Okay. Finally, number two pike. That took a while. I'll turn off the engine now. I think. Uh, there's a bit of a problem with this uh, day today. No trolling motor, so 
and we got some wind, so I gotta actually tow this little pike out a little bit just to stop from drifting from shore, believe it or not. That should do it. Okay, give me some time to get him off. Okay. Number two, long time coming. It's just a tiny guy again. Let's see if we can get him in here. He went for it. Okay, he sure did go for it. This go first, and now this one. Second, so yeah, that's that's okay. That's why. That's why. That's why. When you're pike fishing, oops. You want to make sure you don't get your hands in there, where he can do some real damage. And there he goes. Okay. Okay, indeed. Well, what can I say? You know, the last couple days were pretty good. Caught some pike, an incidental smallmouth. You know, the pike were small, but at least I got four of them. And, uh, you know, I'm sure that uh, they'll get bigger as the year goes on. Um, overall, not too, not too displeased with the way things turned out. Uh, so, you know, looking forward to uh, the next uh, outing. And I'm going to put together some interesting content. I'm going to get better as a fisherman. And this channel for sure is going to get better too. In the meantime, everybody, uh, happy fishing. Cheers. And see you next time.